Have you ever asked yourself why bother at all with therapy, drugs or interventions so tall that the cure is much worse than the illness at hand, once you found that you landed in doctor land? Eat a healthy breakfast. Don't do this nor do that. Exercise more. Eat well. Don't get fat. Have you ever thought that maybe it's better not to totally follow instructions quite to the letter? Have you ever considered setting up your own rules and defend them stubbornly just like a mule? In any case, I did have some thoughts in this matter, especially after events almost shattered the remnants of trust in experts' opinions, as though our bodies are their dominion. So-called facts ever-changing, I will make a short choice. I will put it in writing. This is my voice. When I will be told that the time has come, that my days are numbered and my turn to go home, Cadbury milk chocolate will be the first thing I eat. In fact, I will eat it as much as I please. For breakfast, lunch, for snacks and for dinner, with neither the slightest notion nor shimmer of concern or worry about calories or dairy or toxins. No, I will dance and be merry and ride on the wings of sheer indulging. On those wings we all learn to rein in, to stop bulging in all the wrong places, then pack on some weight. Who cares how we look when we arrive at the gate? I will know my true nature, a big smile on my face, with that Cadbury smile which has been missing of late. It had somehow got lost in the midst of my search leaving me tired on a dreamless perch. Yet for now I'll go back to a healthy routine, starting my day with a breakfast so clean, so healthy that my intestines squeak. And willpower? Truth is, it's actually meek. I sneak coconut, covered in, yes, it's quite true, in Belgian chocolate. What can I do? I found it by chance. Well, that too isn't exact. I hid it in order not to protract a kind of suffering that was sure to arise when stuck with tofu, kale, soup, stevia and rice. I hid it in order to be found by surprise and confess it's a pleasure beyond telling lies to yourself about chocolate wishes. Truth is that nothing quite matches those happy swishes as a two-pound Cadbury milk chocolate bar. It's like feasting great feelings straight from the jar. Reminds me of cigarettes I used to inhale. They beckoned, made me run out the door feeling pale, ran to the market, yearning nicotine attack, then resisted and bought a chocolate stack. Substitute a long can for more delicious stuff and never inhaled one other great puff. Save those poor lungs to last to the date when recycling this body would be up for debate. In the meantime, I plan to stay with that soup and wait for the signs of the final loop of life in this form to do, you know what, that is all I will say, though the subject feels hot. Just remember that life is filled with ups and with downs. No need to cover your goodness with frowns. Some good things are bad and some bad things fantastic. So don't take measures that are too drastic. There's some pull in my bones. What is that strange calling? Could that be Cadbury? No more falling from grace in your very own eyes. That for sure is your certain demise. Remember, chocolate is good essential ingredient. On your journey through life, its role is expedient.